Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is determine uh, the magnitude of a vector uh, when it's given um, as a directed line segment where I have an initial point and a terminal point. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We have two formulas. Uh, we have formulas when it's in that format, as well as when the format when it's in as a uh, in its component form. So we could convert this to its component form and then find the magnitude, if you like, or just plug it into the formula as is. So the first thing we want to do is at least label what p1, p2 are. Q1 and P2. So that will be P1. We'll call that P2. Q1, Q2. Now, to um, plug it the, to determine the magnitude, all I'm simply doing is writing it in component form and pretty much writing it in component form to go ahead and square it. So I'll do P2, which is 6 minus a negative 4 squared, plus uh, 2 minus a negative 4 squared. So when I go and simplify that, 6 minus negative 4 is 10 squared, plus 2 minus negative 4 is 8 squared. And it's just important for you to understand, by subtracting uh, p2 minus p1 and q2 minus p2, I now have it in component form, a little FYI, that component form for this would be 10 comma 8. So really, if I just put, found 10 comma 8 and plug that into that formula, it'd be the exact same thing. But anyways, using, um, using our directed line segment, I have 100 plus 64 equals square root of 164. Now I want to see, can I simplify this? Is there any square number that divides evenly into this? And when I did my work, I said, all right, I can actually rewrite this as 4 times 41. Well, I can take the square root of 4. I cannot take the square root of 41. So my final answer is 2 square root of 41 as the magnitude of the vector. Um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you um, determine the magnitude of a vector. Thanks.